What's going on, everybody? Whoa. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Higer Quartz Double Tubes 500 Watt Aquarium Heater. But in order to do that, I need to show you the tank that it's in because I didn't want to do an unboxing because like, woo, an aquarium heater. And when I show you the tank it's in, if you've been following along, you're gonna have some questions. So let's get into it. So here we are at my Golden Base Flowerhorn Lewis's tank. And in the background, you can see that Heiger Quartz Double Tube Heater. First thing you'll notice is that it's completely encased in plastic, which is something that I absolutely love. That means the fish can't attack it, which is sweet. And you might be asking, why would a fish attack a heater? And I don't really know. But they do, and sometimes when the fish is big or really strong, they can break a glass heater, which can be very bad. And speaking of very bad, I gotta let you know why Lewis is in this tank. So if you go back and you watch the last few videos, you would notice that I have another flower horn. And that flower horn is Douglas. And Douglas had a female that lived with him in the same tank, and her name was Patty. One morning I woke up and Douglas had attacked Patty. To my understanding, fish don't bruise. So that has to be internal bleeding. Pretty bad, she had some internal bleeding going on and it was terrible. So let's look at this tank behind me, which is completely different now. This isn't gonna be the permanent setup. I am gonna give Douglas here a little more room and his head is doing great. For the people that seen the last video, I'm gonna put the little card up in the corner for you right now. He's doing fantastic. It's wonderful. I'm gonna give him a little more space on this side of the aquarium. And then on this side, I did get rid of my Geophagus. I traded him for a fish. And he is, there's the red Texas, the red Frontosa, the electric blue Acara, the Obliquidin, and oh, right in the back. Right there, guys. This is my Comfa. For those of you who don't know what a comfa is, it's a type of flower horn. And instead of being really large and having these big giant nuchal humps, they're actually more focused on color presentation and finish. They're also generally on the more expensive side. But more on that in another video. Let's get to this heater. So this heater is 500 watts, and that is more than double what I actually need in this aquarium. This heater is good for a 65 to 120 gallon a tank, and this is 40 gallons. I did intend on putting this filter in the 75 gallon aquarium, but as it turned out, the heater in this aquarium went, and plus I was putting flower horn in there, so I wanted to have a nice protected heater. Now let's get to the next piece of this filter. That's right, that's the next piece. There's another piece. And it's hands down, one of the features I think makes this one of the best, if not the best aquarium heater on the market. And that's this little control module right here. This is displaying the degrees in Fahrenheit of what I want my aquarium to be. If you wanted to adjust that, there's this button. And all you need to do is press it, and it will change. I'm gonna get this back to where it needs to be. So as you can see on the right hand side, it's your set temperature, and it says it right here, it says set. And on the other side is your current temperature, it says cur. So the heater can go as low as 60 degrees and as high as 93. Which is cool, but if your aquarium needs to be between 60 and 70 degrees, you don't need a heater. And if you're going 90 plus, the only things you're probably keeping are maybe flower horn. And as far as I know, there's only like three people on the planet that I know of that keep their flower horns in 90 or above. I'm one of them. It just so happens that Lewis here isn't used to it yet. It takes time to get them up to that temperature. And the theory behind that is their color really pops. I'm gonna show you guys that in a video. It's a long-term video, so it's taking a while to taking a while to make. And as for the temperature in this tank not being 90, there's far more fish in here that are not flower horns that probably couldn't withstand those temperatures. Another cool feature about this aquarium heater is it came set for Americans in Fahrenheit, but if you hold the center button, meaning the only button on the whole entire module, for five seconds,
it changes to the rest of the world mode and goes into Celsius, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize how to do that and it says five seconds. In my opinion, that might have been a little bit longer than five seconds. And the whole entire module for five seconds. And to set it back to Fahrenheit from Celsius, you just hold down the button again. We'll leave it on 88. It's good. We'll go up a degree. I know a lot of you were thinking at the end of the day that an aquarium heater is an aquarium heater, but that's just simply not true. I have a pet peeve against the typical glass heaters. They're just the tube and it's glass on the outside. I think they're dangerous. They explode really easy, which is another cool feature I almost forgot about. When the water level goes down past a certain point on the heater, it actually beeps and lets you know that the tubes are exposed to help prevent exploding them because I did that like two years ago and it wasn't fun. So not only is this heater made out of quartz and not just glass, which is harder to break, it's also encased in plastic, which is awesome. So the fish are definitely not gonna get hurt on this. They're not gonna rub up against it and burn it. They're not gonna attack and break it and cut themselves, maybe swallow glass. And it's super easy to control. And it's kind of cool having a little digital control on the side of your tank. Not everybody has that. If you're in the market for a new heater or you're setting up your aquarium for the first time or whatever your situation is and you're looking for a heater, I highly suggest this heater. I wasn't paid to say any of that. This is a reliable heater. It's safe. It's easy to control. It's easy to understand. It's just an all-around good heater. And for under 100 bucks, you can't go wrong. I don't know if I already said it, but the model number on this thing is HG minus sign zero zero one. Before we get out of here, I gotta show you guys my new pets though. Just kidding. Until next time guys.